just a video going through the fry that we have um, as you know if you followed our channel well more so our Facebook page you'll know that we've had a terrible winter because we moved house and um, don't have the ideal setup where we moved to so still one week left to go before hopefully that will change um, so this is the fry that have made it through the winter and that we still have left um, Yeah. So these are the adult ones anyway. We've got more outside, but um, these are the ones that you know are of size now. So there's a row of Dumbos that are a decent size. And this strange metallic one that I love. Focus. There we go. And where are you earlier? So yeah, it was really a difficult winter, but um, we still managed to scrape through and get some things happening. It's been quite a depressing winter, honestly, but oh yeah, that's it, flare away. That happens to everyone in everyone's fish room and we're just pushing through as like most people do. You either give up or keep going and it's shown that I have more resilience than I realised. So make sure where we got oh it's a bunch of different bi colours. Love that one. Oh, I think it's a female. She's pretty, yeah. Kind of samurai like. Uh, kind of a samurai cowboy look. It's pretty trippy, I like her. Why must you always go to the wrong place? Like, seriously. I swear you know what I want you to do, so you purposely do the opposite. Hopefully a bit more of that iridescence will come in over top and she'll look pretty cool. This is the sun of a line we've done previously that we actually entered into the last Brisbane Better Breeders show. That'll be a sibling, female sibling. Wait. Actually, yeah, I think she's a half moon. I have to check her out properly. I'm pretty sure she might actually be from a half moon. She's pretty. If you could see through these damn beanie boxes. Unfortunately, our beanie boxes are so old and scratched, and uh, there's no longer see through anymore. That will be the bicolor. Um, it's this dog, the one I just showed. And this is not actual hell girl, but no, no iridescence, no samurai kind of patches. Just black and black and red. I really like her. She's my favorite. Not that you should play favorites with her babies, but she is. Don't tell the others. I just water changed them, so it looks like she's still got some bubbles on her. I thought that was white spot for a second. It's just bubbles. Priority. There's another brother. Not quite as fancy as the other marble bicolor. Well, he's a marble, not a bicolor. 
This one, where is he? Oh yeah, that party. These are kind of our platinum golds and then platinum reds. Oh, I thought you had your tail chewed, you just gone cellophane at the end of your tail, a caudal. And down to some half moons. Ooh. I love the yellows. I didn't expect that. That um, these come from kind of purpley blue, pinky red, grizzle half moon pair, and um, did not expect to be getting yellow from them. That's pretty cool. We're pretty happy with that. There's an the actual grizzle one. You can. See the grizzle in his body? So yeah, we're quite surprised and pretty happy, pretty stoked. They look pretty awesome. Having grizzle yellow half moons. Zoom in. Sorry, that bini box is extremely opaque. So, what about through the top? Right. No, you just don't love me. Oh, that's a bit better. Oh. That's really pretty, but it looks like it's got a bit of a swim bladder problem. Keeping an eye on it. Not sure if it's fin, fin heavier swim bladder. I'm pretty sure it's swim bladder though. It just seems like it goes fine, so it's to keep a closer eye on it. As you can see, it looks fine all of a sudden. So I'm wondering if it's just heavy finnage. An odd. One that's kind of popped up, I don't know. I assume she's just popped up out of the same half moon, just um, yeah, just a bit duller. There's another little gill, yellow one. That's the last two. Let's go from the top because I'm getting in awkward positions to try to get these. Yes, yeah, so they're the ones that have made it through and and haven't already been moved on and haven't had issues. Like we said, it's been a pretty devastating winter, but we're expecting a much better spring. So looking forward to the next week or two. We'll have our cabin and the, our current room will become a fish room and everything will be decked out a lot better so that they um, have much more improved chances. Like I said, those were the biggest. We still got, you know, other grow outs and the other fry and then smaller ones there seem to be some dumbos in there. Where are you all at? I think I ate too many worms. 
I think they're a bit small for the YWAM yet, and I think they've dusted themselves a bit too much. And another one. The snails are reproducing like crazy in this bloody grow out. Little snail clutches everywhere. And here's more in there. So it's not like we don't have heaps still, just waiting on them to grow up. A bit poopy in there. That's what happens. People that make out their, Chris, their tanks of crystal cream all the time are liars. It's, it takes a lot of work to try to clean them between the amount that they poop and the snails poop. And there's a little double tail on the way. Should be a double tail, copper half moon. Should have a few in there. They're just hiding really well amongst the Java moss. I'm trying to breed a giant koi pair at the moment. Oh, he's already gone. So as you can see, we're still plodding along, just um, had a bit of a nightmare winter that we've had to had to cope with. I tell you, it's been disheartening, but hoping the reset will um, get us back into it. So that's what's happened in the fish room. Hope you enjoyed, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Alright, catch us next time.